Hello and welcome back. So today we're going through more stuff that's sent to the P.O. box. Now, um, I can't really do it justice, but the, the sheer volume of stuff I got at the P.O. box, you can just see there's so much here. I'm probably going to have to split this over two videos. Um, so I'll try and upload, the plan is to upload this one on the first half Thursday and the second half over the weekend. Um, so I'm just going to myself comfortable now. <laughs> Let me thought this through. Uh, firstly, I just want to apologise for yesterday's uh, video. There was some slight issues uh, with the video freezing at one point and I had to then re-upload um, part of the video that, that had frozen. Uh, it was a bit of a nightmare day because the audio didn't work earlier in the day and then... Uh, but it's up now. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me. So, uh, let's hope that we don't have any further issues and let's get into... We'll go for this one first. Right, and then we'll open the box. I'm quite excited to see what's in the box. So there wasn't a letter in this one, but it was from Matthew Heron, who sent a whole bag of assorted coins. Wow, holy cannoli. I'm just trying to, let's get a zoom in on these. What a massive amount of awesome looking coins. Wow. Well, thank you so much for that, Matthew. I'm just trying to see if I can, there's any that I recognize. There's, that's a cool sort of square looking one. Another square one. An interesting sort of clover. Wow. Uh, so I do plan, I know I keep saying it, I still haven't done the video yet. Um, let me just get the manual focus on so we can have a look at closer detail on some of these. Look at that. A dollar, that's huge. 1977. So I do plan to make a video going through all the coins you guys have sent me. Um, but massive thank you for that because I don't even know what, some of these tokens? It's completely throwing me off some of these. Look at that. Ocean Beach South Shields. Wow. But there's no note in this, so there's nothing for me to read out. There's a returns envelope. So I've said if you send me uh, a letter or a note and you leave it, uh, you leave me an, addre uh, an address or well, pop in an envelope with your address on it with a stamp on it, I will respond to you with at least a letter. Um, now I want to take the opportunity now just to say that I've had a bit of feedback from people. Um, I won't name anyone specifically. People getting back to, uh, who then messaged me um, on Twitter or on Discord who have said they didn't want the coin I sent them back. So um, I've tried to encourage people not to send me coins expecting certain things back in the post. Um, so people are sending me letters saying here's my favorite Benjamin Bunny, can I have an Olympic judo coin in return for it because this Benjamin Bunny is special to me. Um, I really, I don't want to, I don't want to sound ungrateful. I am incredibly grateful whenever, you, whenever anyone sends me anything. What I don't want is and there to be an expectation that I'm going to trade you some of the rarer coins that I've found uh, for things that you've sent me. So um, I, I may still say, I, it, it, in times like this where this, is it Matthew? has been incredibly generous, sending me a huge amount of coins. I probably will respond with something quite nice to him. Um, but I don't want to get to the point where people are sending me stuff expecting certain coins back and then having a go at me essentially for not sending back coins that they deem uh, are equivalent in value or whatever. So um, if you still want to send me something, feel free to, but don't do it on the expectation of receiving something back. I hope that doesn't come across nastily. Um, I just, I, I, I don't want people getting disappointed that I'm not res replying with, um, I don't know, things that they deem acceptable. So anyway, a uh, little, little rant over, but thank you so much Matthew for that. Uh, I will reply as soon as I can. That's the other thing, I'm a bit slow at replying where, um, I, I mean, I'm, I am quite a busy person, I work full time, plus do the YouTube, uh, trying to sit down. Last time it took me an hour to write out all my responses to uh, everyone that sent me stuff to the PA box for the last video, uh, and I still haven't posted them. So they will be posted out this week, hopefully. There. I can't um, show the other side of it because there's an address on it, and I don't want to give out people's addresses. But let's take a look. 
So the letter says to Christopher, hello, my name is Bryn or King Orius. Ah, I know this. I know you. Um, I love your videos and now also uh, and now also states started collecting 50ps and soon 10ps. I'm so happy I found someone else who loves Oreos. Please may you send me a couple of Paddington Bear 50ps, uh, as many as you can. Here's some Oreos and pounds. I hope to hear from you soon. Bryn, Oreos. Yes, money I send is in the returns envelope. So, um, <laughs> so okay, let me explain. So this this person did contact me and was after some Paddington Bear 50ps. So I agreed a trade with this person. Uh, now, if you do, if if you want to trade with me, I don't do it very often. I will say, um, but uh, if you if you are going to send me something and you want something specific in return, please contact me first. Um, because, like I said, if you're sending me. I don't know, a, 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 a um, Benjamin Bunny and you expect an Olympic 50p, you're going to be disappointed. But thank you so much for that because well, I've been talking to Bryn over Discord um, and it, we thought that this, this had been lost in the post. But let's have a look. Oh, what's that? So that was the pound for the 50p's that we'd agreed to trade on. And then, oh. Um, Holy cannoli, can you believe all this? So I am a massive fan of Oreos. Double cream. Oh wow, brownies. I can't believe you must have an amazing supplier for these. Strawberry cheesecake. Birthday party Oreos. Original Oreos. Oh my goodness, peanut butter Oreos. Wow. Wow, you are going to fatten me up. <laughs> and the golden Oreos. I have, I, have, I have had the golden ones before, but what I will say, the UK Oreos that we get are nothing compared to the Oreos you get over in North America. So I've got Canadian relatives, so we used to spend a lot of time in Canada. Um, I'm trying to move all this <laughs> newspaper out of the way, um, and they were so much nicer than the ones we get here, but holy moly, look at all these Oreos. Thank you so much for that, and I will be sure to message you on the Discord to say a massive thank you for, you for all that, because that is unbelievable. Um, so, let's get this moved aside. So, next, let's have a look at this letter. So I had a little peek into this one just now, and I know exactly what these are. So this is a trade I agreed with someone on Discord. <laughs> I know I say I don't trade often, and I've got two trades here, but th these have been quite delayed in the post, actually. But have a look at these. Let me focus. There we go. So it's United States, one dollar, but how cool is that? I mean, I don't know whether they're genuinely from 1885, but I just thought they looked so stunning. Post them up for a trade, I was like, yes please, I will have some, I will have them. There's the other one. Very cool. Chuffed with them. Because is it hobo? Hobo dollars, hobo nickels that they do in the States? Whether it's gen they are genuine ones, I don't know, but they do look stunning and I really, really like them. So, I'll open this one next. All right, fold this over because there's an address on the back. So, the letter says, uh, Dear Christopher, I've seen many of your coin hunts on YouTube and find them very interesting. I enjoy collecting 50p coins and have a reasonable collection. Um, now I have a few questions which I am sure you can answer. Okay, so a bit of a Q&A. So number one, can you suggest a supplier for me? Uh, for me, the type of coin collector wallets, folders uh, you use. My coin collection is currently kept in a large bag. Um, so yeah, the coin collector books are that I get, I get from eBay. If you search coin albums on eBay, it's one of the first options. Uh, I think it's 96 coins that they can store something off the top of my head. Uh, other than that, I use little plastic wallets like, um, where have they gone? 
exactly like this kept in to store the rest of my collection in a big box. But I do plan to make a whole collection video once I get it sorted out so I can show you. Uh, number two, I notice that you normally obtain £250 of 50p coins to hunt through. Uh, I tend to get £50 at a time, funds willing. Uh, however, my bank is always suspicious when I ask to change notes for coins. Where do you obtain your £250 bags? Um, so I get them from my bank. I do have a business account now. Um, the YouTube account is technically a business. Uh, so, um, and then they, they, they know why I want the coins. I explain that I'm a coin collector, I make videos on them, um, and that I hunt through them. So if your bank doesn't want to do it, my, my recommendation is to go to another bank and see if they will do it for you and if they will open an the account there. Um, I can't, I've agreed not to publicise the bank that I currently use, um, but that might change in the future and I might be able to recommend a bank. But the problem is, I've heard lots of times where someone will say, I use this bank, uh, they won't let me have coins, and then someone else on the Discord will say, I use that bank and they're really helpful. So it's, it's all down to the branch, the footfall in the branch, I guess, uh, how much coins they have in the branch. Uh, question three, uh, in initially having completed my search, I'm left with loads of ordinary 50p coins. I tried to spend some of them, uh, but paying for my weekly shop in Tesco's and 50p coins raises a few questions. <laughs> I imagine it would. Uh, perhaps they think I've carried out a bank heist. What do you do with your uh, surplus coins? Uh, so, I have, uh, so I've got two business accounts. Uh, one that I take coins out of, one that I pay coins into. Uh, so it's just different banks I pay them in and out because then I don't have to worry about spending them because uh, I take out £1,200 a week in coins and I just put, I take out one bank, pay, uh, search them, then I pay them into the other account and then transfer it back to the original account. So it's a big circuit that keeps going around. Uh, question four, uh, I have quite a lot of old Egyptian money, notes and coins dating from the Second World War. Uh, my grandfather was posted there. Would this be of any interest to you? I have no idea and doubt it is worth anything, but if you would like to have it, I will happily uh, I will happily send it to you if you discuss anything if you discover anything rarer and valuable then I'd be happy to share uh, at the moment it's just hidden away in the drawer anyway please let me know I look forward to hearing from you and if and the Egyptian money is of interest perhaps it would uh, make YouTube make a YouTube film best wishes Mark Jones so thank you so much for your letter Mark Jones I will uh, your email address on that so I'll email about email you about those Egyptian coins um, but thank you so much for your letter so let's get into one of these jiffy bags Hi CC, so that's Christopher Clay, isn't it? Thought I'd send over some coins that I got in 1983 by collecting em empty packets of hula hoops and then sending off for some coins. Uh, we only got two sets as you had to eat quite a lot of crisps for them. There was also an album that could be purchased to put all the coins into, uh, but we, do we don't didn't bother buying that. Uh, below are some of the pictures of the album that I found on the web. P. Oh cool. Wow. So the coin, these are coins you got. <laughs> Look at them. Let's get a bit of a zoom in on them. How cool are they? There's some that look familiar. God, they're nice, co nice condition as well, aren't they? There's some I recognize. But there's some I haven't seen before. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sending them to me. It was from P, wasn't it? Thank you so much. They are really, really neat. Oh, hang on. These have fallen out of it. What's that? Oh, a US stamp. Oh. Well, I'm not sure who sent these. I think that might have been P sent me a couple of American stamps and a UK stamp. Thank you so much for that. So for those of you <laughs> uh, that are maybe new to the videos, haven't watched many of my videos, I also collect stamps. Um, I, doubt, I can't film them at the moment because they're in storage, but uh, thank you so much for them. They are awesome. So I'll open this one next. 
So we've got another, another letter. So to Christopher, after your previous PO box opening, I decided to send you another letter as it is rather exciting seeing your own parcel being opened up on a video. So the history of these coins aren't that interesting, but hey, after going into my local post office to get a bag of 50 peas, the lady kindly gave me a, a bag of Paddington and on another occasion, a seal bag of Taylors of Gloucester. Uh, Taylor, of, Taylor of Gloucesters. I'm confident you've clearly seen and collected many of these coins before, so you might want to randomly reply to a couple of subscribers with these, or keep them for yourself, it's up to you. Anyway, keep up the good work with the channel, as the quality and the consistency of your uploads are amazing. Surely Christopher Clegg is the best coin collecting channel out, uh, out there. Best regards, Daniel. Well, well, thank you so much for sending another letter, Daniel. Um, so, in terms of coins that people have sent, so, let's have a look. We said they were, ooh. Um, I do keep them, and I keep them separately from my collection because it's, it's very special to me if someone has gone to the length of sending me coins. Um, so, they're the ones that you've sent. But thank you so much for that. So um, I apologise, I probably haven't sent you a reply to, you, to your previous letter because I still haven't got around, I haven't got around to posting them out yet. Um, but I will endeavour to do that as soon as I can. So next up, check out those stamps. Mr. Bum and Ladybird books. Wow. I'll be keeping them. So we've got a letter. It says, Dear Christopher, thank you for making amazing videos. You've been a massive inspiration. I think you will like these coins I found, especially the 50p. I can't think of anything else uh, to say, so I will leave it here. Elliot, age 10. Let's have a look then. So what have we got? Uh, we've got an unfocused coin. Let's try this. Five shillings. Oh wow. That is awesome. Five shillings. And these. Oh my goodness. Yo, oh, you shouldn't have done them. You shouldn't have sent me these earlier. You should have kept them in your collection. So that's my favourite 50p, the Isaac Newton. What on earth is this? The design of a sovereign. Wow. Wow. And George the Sixth is my favourite. Um, uh, uh, um, <laughs> uh, we'll get there eventually. Uh, my favourite uh, monarch on a coin. He just looks awesome, doesn't he? Wow. And then. Oh my goodness. That is far too generous, Elliot. Wow. Thank you so much for that. That's that has blown my mind. Some of these are bad like I've never seen. A sovereign design on a the five shillings. That's amazing. What does it say around the side? Wow. That is incredibly generous of you, Elliot. So it's a massive thank you for sending them over to me, and I will get a reply out to you as soon as I can. So, let's get into another card. We've got a card. Make it talk. Is he dead? Better walk on his face and find out. <laughs> oh dear, that made me chuckle. Oh, so this is Flo Max from the um, um, Discord. To Christopher, I've I, 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 I seen the card and thought of you. Hope you like the key ring from Flo Max. Wow. Let's have a look at this then. So it's an iron side and a key ring. How cool is that? Well, thank you very much for sending that to me, Flo Max. I'll be sure to message you on the Discord this evening and say thank you. Right, let's have a look at this one next. So, 
letter said, Dear Christopher, my name is uh, Mackenzie and I'm 12 years old. I've been collecting coins for a few years now. I got fascinated with coins because I love the look of the designs. I think your YouTube channel is amazing and I love watching your videos. I've been desperately looking uh, for these 50, uh, for these four 50ps for ages. I simply can't find them uh, anywhere. I even took all my Christmas money to the bank and exchanged it for 50ps, hoping I would find them, but I didn't. I was hoping you could help me with one or two of them. Uh, the uh, the um, the coins are Paddington at the Palace, Mrs. Tittlemouse, 2018 Peter Rabbit, and Flopsy Bunny. I've sent you a Georgian penny from 1919 and an Australian 20 cent piece uh, that has a duckbill platypus on it and an old decimal new pence. I hope you like them. Um, oh, the Ginger Ninja vids. That's someone I recognise from the uh, comment section. So I said if you go to the lengths of writing me a letter, feel free to plug your your Discord, uh, your YouTube, your social media, your Discord, your whatever. Um, so it's the Ginger Ninja vids and the history in English coins. Best wishes from Mackenzie Hearts, uh, Hearty, age 12. Wow. So let's have a look at these. A Georgian penny. That sounds fascinating. Wow, look at that. The George V. How cool. And then, quite big up, 1980. 20 cents for the platypus, 1975. Well, thank you so much for sending them. Um, and the, I mean, the Paddingtons are quite a common ones, so I'm sure I can help you out with the Paddingtons and some of the 2018 ones. Um, so, <laughs> I don't want anyone to feel bad after my little rant at the start of the video, uh, but the common, more common ones, if you're looking out, looking out for them, um, I'm more, more likely to be able to send you them. So thank you for that. So, well, let's have a look at this one next. So it says, uh, Hi Christopher, here's some random stamps I saved. I don't really collect them, so I thought uh, they'd have a better home with you from Katie Jones. Ah, so I, I know Katie Jones from the Discord. I've seen you uh, commenting on there before. Oh! I must have dropped out the back whilst I wasn't looking. It looks like a Christmas stamp there. How cool is that? And 18p stamp. How, how bizarre does that sound? Oh, that's amazing. Wow, look at them. Common skate. Cornish sardine. They're awesome, thank you so much. Oh, there's one more. <laughs> this is the Wallace and Cromit Christmas stamp. How cool is that? Don't they need to be on coins as well? Wallace and Cromit coins would be amazing. Thank you so much for sending them, Katie. I'll be sure to, to send you a thank you over on the Discord as well. All that leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much to everyone that sent me anything. And I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.